Well, hello everybody. Welcome to PBM Money. This is the second in a two video series I'm doing on setting financial goals. The last one, if you haven't seen it, you should go back and watch it. Um, and in this one, I'm going to assume that everything that I said in the first video you have done or are going to do. Now, in this part of the video, we are going to actually sit down and set some goals, okay? So, the first question you need to answer is, what is your number one priority for the next year? Number one. And usually when it's financial, there's usually two or three or four different things that are tied into it. As an example, if you say, I want to save 10% of my income, by the end of the year, I want to, and we're going to assume you make $50,000 a year. So at the end of 12 months, you want to have $5,000 in the bank, if that's your goal. Well, there are many, many ways to get there. As an example, uh, one of the ways that I use is cash back credit cards. And I usually make about $1,000 a year just on my credit cards. And I don't make $50,000 a year. <laughs> But if you time it right and you get sign up bonuses and you use cash back and you do it wisely, you can make $1,000 right off the bat. So there's credit card, there's working on your credit score, there's uh, uh, automatic savings, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of things that are attached to that. So as you zero in on saving $5,000, Okay, if you if you can do if you if you've got an average credit rating, and you can get two cash back credit cards in a year, and each one of them has two hundred dollars sign up bonus. That's four hundred dollars. Plus you get cash back. So now you got six hundred dollars cash back in a year. That's fifty dollars a month. That's easy to do for the average person. Okay. So at the end of the year, you've got $1,000. Well, that only leaves $4,000 for you to have to come up with out of your uh, pocket. And I've done other videos that, like in the summer, if you mow two yards for your neighbors uh, each week for $35 bucks a pop, that's $70 bucks a week, times four weeks is $280, times six months, depending on where you live, that's $1,300, $1,500, dollars $1, Well, you're halfway home. If you make $1,500 in the summer mowing two yards, plus do your credit cards, you just saved $2,500 in the bank. You haven't even touched your payroll yet. See what I'm saying? There, there are many ways to get there. You need to examine each and every way. Some you will discard, some you will keep. I'm going to assume that I'm going to get $1,000 for my cash back credit cards next year. Okay? Now, each time you come up with an idea, as an example, in, in our example, the $1,000 cash back credit card. So that means you need two credit cards. That means each one of them needs to get $200 sign up bonus. So that means you go on the internet and you research and you, and you plan it out. I'm gonna get one in January and I'm gonna get one in August. Okay? because you're going to need to spend money to get the sign-up bonus, and then you're going to need to get into the habit of doing it and paying it. But you also need to concentrate on your credit score, because if your credit score isn't good, you won't be able to get the, get the offers. So you got to work on your credit. And in the last video I talked about, any credit cards or loan payments that you have, have them taken out of your account automatically. That way your credit rating will go up, or at least stay good. So well, that's tied in. So you need to look at each and every scenario. Okay. Now to each scenario, you need to put a dollar amount on. In order to get $1,000 cash back, you need to spend around six to $800 uh, per month on your credit cards with decent cash back amounts. 
and that will vary depending on what percentage you're getting on cash back. But sit down and do the scenarios, figure out how you can do it, will it be there, pay off your credit cards every month, don't carry balances. That's the key. If you carry balances, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, they'll be paying you 3% on gasoline, but they'll be charging you 18% if you don't pay it off. So make sure you can pay it off. And then put a dollar amount on each one. So credit cards, $1,000. Mowing yards, $1,500. And, and what, how does that affect? So if you don't have a mower, you got to buy a mower. And then you got to buy gasoline. And you got to transport it back and forth. I mean, go through each scenario, put a dollar amount on it. And then, once you've got a, a scenario that starts to gel and starts to make sense to you, then I want you to go through and I want you to mark down on a piece of paper all 12 months of the year and I want you to write out how much you're going to save that month based on the scenarios so off to the side what I would do is I would put credit cards $1,000 what does that equal in a month that means you need to make $400 sign up bonus which leaves $600 which means you need to make $50 a month average cash back on your credit card and then each month you write that down so you save fifty dollars fifty dollars fifty dollars fifty dollars all over, each month of the year mowing yards so for six months it'll be zero 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 and then for six months it'll be uh, what we say uh, 35 70, 4, 7, 280 280, 280, 280, 280. Okay. After you go through each scenario that you've got, how much can you take off for your uh, savings from your paycheck? Can you take, uh, let's see, if you need 5,000, that's 500, and you've got uh, probably 100, 100 bucks, so you need 400 bucks, that's 100 bucks a week. Then you go into your bank and you say I want you to take a hundred bucks a week out of my paycheck and put it into my savings account now here's where the dedication comes in once you get it set up and it starts rolling you've got to do whatever it takes to make those numbers happen now once you get all of that done and you've, you've dedicated yourself to it it's in writing then you have to ask yourself a question is this goal, if everything goes perfect, I will hit this goal. What if everything doesn't go perfect? What if everything goes poorly? Then you need to ask yourself, well, what's my fallback going to be? How quickly can I regain? Uh, have, have, an, have an alternative plan because you've got to stick to your goals. Having a bad month is not going to let you off the hook. Having a bad three months is not going to let you off the hook. It might change your goal, but the overall annual goal has got to stay the same. Now, once you've got it in writing, you got it dedicated, you've got a fallback plan, now you pray about it. And the reason you want to pray about it is because if God's involved, all things are possible. Without God, nothing is possible you will lose it all some way somehow eventually so pray about it now which once we've gotten this far and I said this in the last video you have to you have to be a certain level of dedicated is it an easy goal to hit a medium goal to hit a hard goal to hit and then there's the God size miracle this year my goal is going to be a God-sized miracle it's going to take God to make this happen I'm not going to tell you what it is today but it's god size. now here are some guidelines that I have used over the years to help keep me focused number one every uh, year we have a financial goal on this channel and I'm working on it for next year that it helps me stay on point because I have I'm going to be accountable to you 
and it's helpful for you because it will help motivate you to see the struggles that that I go through and the success or failure that I have and learn from me not just my successes but my failures also and God knows I have a lot of them but tell others so that they will keep you accountable set up smaller goals along the way like once you get your two once you get your first credit card and the sign up bonus uh, and you've earned that and now you're on your way to making cash back that's that's a goal you achieved that once you start mowing yards or whatever it is you're going to do that's a small goal and you should reward yourself for that you know like if you're giving up all food on credit cards maybe go out and you know treat yourself and have dinner and then another thing that I do is I keep track I make up little charts and, I, and I'm going to show that when I reveal our goal uh, I make up charts like uh, in our financial goal I've got all of, every place I've got money I've got listed and how much is in there and the date that I did it and uh, my account versus the ministry account and then the total at the end and the change uh, but write it down so you can keep track and notice your progress and I'll give you a good example why that's important I thought that last year I had saved about uh, $15,000 because I didn't write it down I didn't think I had written it down and was unaware of it and I came across it a couple of days ago we saved almost 20,000 last year so it's important it, it it helps to motivate you to know that that you can you can do it you are doing it you're in the middle of doing it because I'll tell you in the middle of battle it's hard to it's hard to remember why you're in the battle it's hard to remember uh, the goal at the end but if you keep track of it and you can see progress each and every month and you're slowly getting there that will keep you motivated and then lastly get started you don't have to wait till January go through the process I talked about in these two videos write it down dedicate yourself and then just get started go do it go to the bank set up your savings accounts uh, go to HR get your paychecks direct deposited uh, tell the banker to automatically take money out of your account to savings and get started the worst thing you can do is plan, 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 and then do nothing. It looks great on paper, but it don't mean anything to your bank accounts if you're not going to go do it. So do it. Get started. And that's what this channel is about. Doing it, keeping track of it, and in the long run, we will all be better financially off. But you got to be dedicated, and you got to get started. So turn this video off go do whatever it is you need to do but do something and I'll give you a little hint I learned something years ago and I still try to do this today whatever your goal do one thing every day towards that goal just one thing it doesn't have to be a huge thing it could just be thinking about the goal analyzing it like on the credit cards what is the best month just think about what's the best month and, and or research you know spend 15 minutes a night uh, one or two nights a week just researching what's the best credit cards out there what's the best cash back what's my credit rating can I call you know just one thing every day to help you get to your goal that will be 365 things to help you get to your goal after you've started that's a big thing it's not much each day but at the end of the year it adds up a lot Well, good luck. Join us this year for our game, and let's be motivated together. Let's learn together, and uh, let's achieve together. Have a great day, a great week. Happy planning and investing.